As women's basketball dominates the March Madness tournament, defending champs LSU lost to Iowa Monday night in the most watched women's basketball game ever. Star Angel Reese gave an emotional press conference afterwards. Take a look. I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times and threatened. I'm still a human. Like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. You know, tickets for the women's tournament are outpricing the men mm-hmm. right now. And, Woo! yeah, yeah. yeah. It's only taken, what, 75, 100 years <laughs> yeah. to get people to recognize that female athletes are as important, yeah. as required for young women to see yeah. as they are for young men to see. I just want to bring up this thing, and y'all can comment. Even you, Joy, may be annoyed by this. So uh, the media seems to be cast, casting uh, Angela as the villain. Yeah. The young lady we the heard. The whole team. The, well, but, they, but before LSU played UCLA, Times writer Ben Balch, Balch, B-O-L-C-H, and he's apologized since, uh, wrote that the game was good versus evil. Yeah. Bashing LSU as dirty debutantes. Now, I just have to say. He also called the UCLA team um, America's sweethearts. Yeah, well, let me start with this, because this really pissed me off. Yeah. <laughs> How go. dare you? How dare you? You didn't learn from the last time somebody did something stupid like that? You didn't learn that that's not how you talk about these women or these athletes? How dare you yeah. call them dirty anything? You can't do what they do. You better make sure that when you have kids, if you have kids, that you apologize to your daughter. Because that's who you're calling a dirty debutante. Every little girl that you pass, that's who you're talking about. Really, really disappointed in you. And I I was a fan. Not so much now. I I felt the same way. I mean, um, Sarah and I both played college sports. And I think we can both agree that when you're on the court or you're on the field, it doesn't matter if your teammate is black, white, orange, purple. You are a team. That's what the team You are is. playing it together yeah. and you are playing to win. Yeah. Trash talking is part of it. Okay? But it's not up to him to trash it's, talk it's, about no, it. No, no, no. no I'm saying players. part of the reason why they're saying she's a villain is because she trash talks on the court. I trash talk when I play Monopoly, okay? <laughs> so this, is, this is just like part of the sport. It's just part of the sport. No, that's and just I think part of you. <laughs> that's just I, part I, of I you. Think, I think anybody that... Looking at the women in the view today, they try to talk about the basketball player um, who is a woman, Lizon, and who won the tournament and she came online and she was crying. She was in an interview how since she won that tournament for basketball as a female, she has received um, death threats, many negative things that happened to her, many she's human also, she's even tired. And then the women in the view came and they were seen. And then one other guy with a basketball player also with a man rode and was calling her daddy. So the women in the view, somebody like Whoopi told the guy, you have to apologize. If you have a daughter or a wife, you have to apologize to your daughter not or sister. No need to her because no one is daddy. They have told people to stop calling women daddy. That is your people who are daddy. So men, they say now, um, the ticket for women, women basketball is more it's more in demand more than for men so this is what have happened 75 years ago it just came in so this is what they were fighting for that what a man can do a woman can even do better so but you know guys don't want to accept that women can do more than them or a woman can even do more um actually basketball is predominantly um we know it's for a men and it's a sport for men which women were being included usually when it's a man thing at the beginning for a woman you'll be more challenging also so those are the type of things you meet on the way uh coming out is like somewhere to discourage young women that 
you don't have to win if you excel so much people will come after you with death threat people want to kill you people want to rape you so um this is a message so the women in the view are not very happy about this actually it's a message that they are passing out that men should know that women can also do better and women can even know more better so it's not all about your black your white or your man it's a woman any what anybody put their mind in their soul in you achieve it being a man being a woman being your it doesn't depend your color even you might have challenges which you have obviously you have those difficulties those trials but if you keep pushing you keep pushing you with hard work um it's going to and pray also you're going to achieve whatever you but sometimes we become discouraged because when we try one two three we just discourage that this one not for me i will let it go back if we keep pushing 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 in life anything you want you're going to achieve it you just keep pushing pushing pu persistent continuous the model of it there yeah, so whoopi was just passing it as life which is very true that they used to be fan of him and they lose um things because of what they just said i guess it's that type of man who believes that it's a man's war it's a man's war no most men have not really changed they still know that it's a man's so they don't want to believe that a woman can even do anything believe that a woman can even partake or a woman can even do anything so it's just an advice to little girls they're trying to create more awareness for little girl in the sports session to do more better so women more young girls more you have a daughter you might be watching this and you have a daughter you can encourage a daughter to do sport whatever sport they want to do you can do it i keep going you excel excellent anyway wherever you whenever there's too much light you know there was darkness before you come and put that light there just for example the light i'm using a ring light without that ring light you will not see me very well but because of the ring light i'm brighter you can see me so without the little ring light it was darkness so obviously um before that little ring light came there was darkness so for that little light, ring light to shine see it has outcome the darkness you know the darkness is still pushing its way to come that's how it is because yes you're shining the lady is shining and you could see all that in her and then they say that because in the basketball field she used some type of word like nasty word obviously sony was saying she played basketball in, in school she played sport in high school it's a norm for everybody to say that who is not the norm it's just something it's a copy it's a louse it's a learned behavior which is true it doesn't mean that everybody does it most people do it and you come in that environment you just copy from the other people but you mustn't speak like other people because of what they are saying so that's why they are everybody's after her according to what they claim so actually what do you think do you think that in some years to come women will be more than men in sport do you think that they have the right to follow her up suicide they want to kill her they want to rear her because she won the female fem um, champion um the female champion this is to encourage young girls don't be discovered so let me see your opinion on the comment section thank you very much for watching if you are not subscribed please help subscribe and help share the video god bless you